Have you been up to the hills? We can breathe here. The air is fresh. Open your eyes wide. The views are stunning. And alive. Listen to the gurgling streams. See for yourself. Millions of creatures are at work here, some so small we can barely see. Together, they keep the water clean, endlessly recycling what runs off from the land, giving new life, bringing fresh energy to the fish, to the birds, and in many ways, to us. In the past, we have pressed our hills to give us valuable goods like meat or timber. But we've seen the consequences. The flooding downstream, the brown contaminated water, the dead fish. We've done a lot to change this, but there are many more millions to feed every day. So what will our future hold? Do you think our children and grandchildren will be able to drink clean water, feel the same pride for their land? And what would you choose for the future? What do you want your uplands to be? We could carry on the way we are, business as usual. The main source of profit for traditional sheep farms is subsidies. To make sure we get these, we protect specific touristic areas. And we make sure our waters conform to European standards. Should we prioritize food security and make more food? To sustain this extra production, we would need more fertilizers, chemicals, and pesticides. Of course, we would have to clear the hedges and riverbanks to maximize available land for farming. What if we left the uplands? If we stopped spending our taxes on subsidies, farmers would struggle to make a living. Farms would be abandoned. No sheep, no cattle. Would nature reclaim our hills? For hundreds of years, we have been changing these lands. It would take nature many hundreds of years to reclaim and make it wild again. Like our homes or cars, our hills need care and repair, not abandonment. And what if we manage the uplands in a different way? Couldn't we help nature to do what nature does best? Store water to protect towns and cities downriver from flooding. Store carbon to reduce climate risks. Filter the streams to provide us with clean, safe water. It's a tough choice, isn't it? Our rivers are the lifeblood of our land, flowing through the country like blood in veins. We are dependent on this water to drink, bathe, grow crops, raise animals. We can choose to re-establish our connection with nature. You and I are temporary custodians. How we use it today will have an impact for years to come. Our choices matter. They are our rivers and our future. What do you choose?